Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the gold mine with you. You might question, Daniel, what is the gold mine today? And it is the Bitcoin range. This range is something special. It is a very nice trading range and it is not often we are gifted with such a range to trade. This one has been relatively easy. And so I wanna go through that range with you today. I will go through the current trade and the exact trade that I am in right now. And you know, how we can look to see this progress over the coming few days to a week. Um, you know, maybe, maybe more, of course, we will trade this range until it breaks. So I hope that you really enjoy this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely sure you will. And with no further things to say, let's go into the charts. Let's go into the analysis. So obviously we can see right now we're hitting around, you know, topping out around $40,000. Not quite over it, but around $40,000. And it's pretty clear, first of all, where we are getting a rejection from. And it's obviously that last high that we put in on the 3rd of June. So that last high on the 3rd of June is obviously currently offering uh, a bit of resistance as well as the $40,000, you know, psychological level. I refer to these sort of big levels like 50,000, 40,000, 30,000. They are your psychological levels. There are, there are levels which not are necessarily technical per se, uh, but this is where a lot of or this is where a lot of orders gather. Okay, so lots of orders will gather at those big round psychological numbers. Okay, it's just it's the same in every single market in the world, and uh, you know Bitcoin is no different. Uh, they're the type of levels that you you know you can you can expect reactions from, especially if you have confluence at them. But generally speaking, they'll offer a reaction the first time, but ultimately you you know one would expect them to break if it's just a psychological number alone. Uh, this one obviously you do have the last prior high, so there's you know a certain degree of liquidity above the high which has been taken. But um, yeah, I must admit overall one would look you know one would expect higher here, and you can probably tell I'm obviously in a long position, but. Um, you know, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm looking for this to to be broken. But yeah, we'll cover this in what, you know, three, four minutes time. I would like to cover just this section here and this last impulse that we've seen to the upside before we get into, you know, the exact thing that I'm looking at here. Um, so, oh, how many times have I said this? <laughs> What's the most important thing to have in trading? Okay, what separates the majority of people that lose in trading you know you have to remember the majority of people are losing money in this market okay we can make it seem pretty simple and easy but we've been doing this a long time as whereas the majority especially in cryptocurrency are fairly inexperienced traders so what what is that massive thing that separates the winners from the losers and it all comes down to having that you know i have to have to preface it with a with a good but it all comes down to having a good trading plan, yeah? And, <clears throat> excuse me, how have we seen this progress really over the past, you know, five days really? Okay, since we put in the low on the 8th of June to where we are now, I mean on five, almost, almost six days. Well, obviously it all stemmed with the symmetrical triangle that broke to the downside. Okay, and with that symmetrical triangle obviously breaking to the downside, we, we put in the start of almost envisaging a range before it was even a range. Okay, so it was the it's a case of thinking to ourselves at the low here, you know, we're not going to be getting bearish because of a symmetrical triangle breakdown. All we are going to, you know, transform our thinking into of, okay, let's look to buy this around $30,000, $32,000 and envision the range to be formed before it is even a range, okay? So you see how you have to think ahead of the game in this regard, so I'm thinking to yourselves, okay, this actually is a buying opportunity where many others are going to be fearful and scared and bearish because we broke a symmetrical triangle. We say, oh my God, it's the end of the world, it's a symmetrical triangle. We had to think to ourselves, okay, let's not get emotional, let's not get bearish, but let's view this as a buying opportunity, okay? Obviously, now we can say this has gone very well indeed, but I will show you here, well, really simply, what I was looking at last week, the 6th of June, in the Champions live stream, what we like to say is the bank stuffing chart of the week, because it is stuffing banks. Uh, obviously, I go through... Um, you know, scenarios on Bitcoin, do my technical analysis and end it with a plan. And my plan last week was very, very simple. We obviously had that symmetrical triangle, but I was envisaging 
this to be a range, or well, before it was even a range, just like I <laughs> predicted the triangle before it was a triangle. But <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the plan that I came up with on Sunday. And I'll just talk you through this really briefly because I think it's, you know, it's good to get into my head, see what I was thinking. And you know, obviously it was another winning trade. So uh, obviously this is what we had last week, a point of control, 36,800. Value area high, write these levels down. You want to write them down because they're important. Value area high, 39,688. Value area low, 31,187. Okay, so e.g. we're looking for a range to form. We have the value area low and high of the range and obviously the point of control. That's the level where the most volume is transacted. And from this, I kind of thought to myself, okay, let's, let's make a plan off of this. Let's expect... I suppose the unexpected, and that is this range to form with our harmonic that we had, you know, we have a fairly easy entry stop loss, which is obviously below the overall low. We don't want to see that broken. And then obviously a target back up towards the, you know, low $40,000 region. And so I was looking for a back test of the point of control before the drop in price to get our entry around the harmonic lows, obviously before another increase in price. Okay, so that was the prediction made on the Sunday, the 6th of June in the Champions live stream. You can really see how this is progressed. When we add back on the levels, okay, we'll add back on those levels uh, for the medium term time frame volume. And you can see here uh, from, from the prediction that was made, we can see it actually progressed fairly nicely. On Monday, the 7th of June, we got the back test to the absolute dollar, by the way, of the point of control. So we moved up to back test the point of control, which is exactly what we wanted to see to, you know, confirm the resistance is there. We got the back test to the point of control and then we dropped actually to the value area low. OK, so we hit the value area low to, you know, very, very close on, let's just say that, which was also a swing failure pattern. OK, so you remember this one, what we were talking a little bit about last week, we had the swing failure pattern on the value area low. And these were the levels that we had, you know, predefined. Obviously, we were looking for a Gartley. You know, obviously, it dropped slightly lower than the Gartley. But in my opinion, that was fine. And, you know, I remind my team in the in the time that, you know, we've dropped a little bit lower, but the, the long setup is still absolutely perfect. We've had a swing failure pattern. You know, this long trade really is on now. You know, this, this, is, this is the time to, to, to take the longs. He obviously had Trader R in there with his pivots. He loves his pivots, you know, and people like the, you know, wouldn't it be fun to actually put in a long range? And absolutely, it would be very fun. And, well, you can see now when we had back on that long position, how it progressed. Okay, we obviously got the entries down around the lows. Mine was actually from the swing failure pattern, so a little bit better than, than shown here. But nevertheless, we can see how it was important to have the plan of when we were dropping to thirty two to $30,000, we're only looking for longs. That's the only trade that interests us. We're not interested in shorts down here. The only thing we want is a long. And then it's having the patience to wait for that entry. We got the swing failure pattern and well, the rest is history. So that, that's taught you through having the plan and then sticking to the plan. It's not closing out the trade too early. It's not closing out too late. It's, it's having the plan to long down here and then having the, the confidence to follow the plan that I give and, and long it. Well, everybody that did in the group is, I think, pretty happy this morning. As, as obviously we've made our way back up, surprise, 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 look at this. Value area high marked on the chart one week ago. We actually tested that value area high, madre mia, absolutely perfectly uh, as, a, as a resistance this morning. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Ladies and gentlemen, come on. The value areas have held to the exact dollar low. I'm actually even better than that. We got the back test of the point of control to the exact dollar. We actually bounced off the value area low to pretty much the exact dollar. Then we rejected the value area high to pretty much the exact dollar this morning. So each of those levels to the dollar, to the dollar, and then pretty close to the dollar this morning. So, you know, you can clearly see these levels are massively important. Yeah, we, it's impossible to deny that. So that was the thing that was, you know, catching up to where we are now then. It, you know, you have to question, is this a good time to long? Yeah, you always have three options in trading, long, short, or no trades. Yeah, so you question me, Daniel, is this a good long? Well, I am in a long position and I am expecting or, or you know, looking for higher at this point. But is this a good time to long? The answer is absolutely not. Why would you long into the value area high? Yeah, this is a take profit. 
and it's a resistance. So you have to say to yourself, I cannot long here because you're longing into a resistance. So the only option is no trade or a short position. Okay, that, 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 that would be, you know, the, the only options one could imagine that they have because it's a little bit crazy to long here, isn't it? I, I would say so. Um, even though I can be an expecting higher and expecting a break, I still wouldn't long into resistance. You know, the, the time to long is <laughs> is thirty two thousand dollars, not 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 forty thousand dollars. You know, um, but anyway, I, I digress. So so really, we we ultimately have this this value area range. We can say if we break the top of this value area range, well, that's when we're going to be looking back up towards forty two forty three thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, so this is this is the value area range. What we could say still if we manage to break and hold, so you don't want to do you know, just wicks above it, but if you manage to start to hold the value area high, well, then we could actually be looking for a pretty nice breakup. Uh, obviously, the, the setup that I gave in my Champions live stream was to around $42,000, but does this have the potential to push way higher to, you know, fifty, forty-eight thousand dollars $48,000? Well, the answer is obviously absolutely yes. It has that potential, but it's something that we're going to have to monitor as it goes along, you know. Are we forming swing failure patterns? Are we, you know, getting weak breakouts? Are we, you know, what's the delta? What's the trade counts? What's, you know, what's the actual data given to us upon if, you know, this is obviously if we break the value area high, you know, what's the strength of that break? Um, you know, it's pretty easy to determine in that regard. We can just come along and look at what the volume is doing. But, you know, you cannot uh, predict per se what the volume is going to be on a breakout. You have to wait for it to break and then look at, you know, literally look at the volume, look at the statistics that are coming in there. So, uh, you know, you cannot, you cannot say, oh, there's definitely going to be volume coming in. You have to wait and see that really. Oh, definitely. Um, so yeah, my, my perspective is right now, ultimately, you know, I, I would like to see higher on this chart. Um, but that said, we obviously are at an intraday resistance. Obviously that offers, you know, scope shorts, you know, this is a scope short region. Um, you know, and, and and really we're going to have to see how this progresses. You can see it's pretty accurate the ways that we're rejecting off of this. And this is a still a few percent either side of, of you know, for sculpts. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that, that that's really what I'm looking at. And uh, so is there anything else I wanted to cover? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I wanted to cover the Unes Elliot. Uh, I'll cover this really, really, really quickly. And this is what we mean by, like, group confluence. Um coming together so i shout out Yunez elliot wavecat i hope you don't mind Yunez. I'm, I'm sure you really don't but obviously Yunez with the legendary 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 elliot wave counts this guy is an absolute beast so he was also similar to me expecting that breakdown obviously where we were looking for the longs off of the around the low of the range Yunez was simultaneously looking for the you know a drop to be put into that value area low region a, a rise drop rise for ultimately potentially another drop and each step of the way he's absolutely nailed it he got the low he got the low he got even this intraday i haven't actually taken a trade for four days you know i haven't been trading any of this you know really simply i just hadn't been trading it but Eunice had and he actually predicted the place that we would rise to and then absolutely exactly as predicted the low that would be put in and then the next rise. So it's like, this is what we call all-star confluence, where the all-stars are coming together with the same plans as myself. And it's just like, yeah, you've got to trust in CC, Paul, when, when do we let you down? Uh, but yeah, that was that was epic. And people love Eunice's Elliott wave counts. And this is why, because the guy's an absolute, you know, he's a beast with them. So yeah, that was impressive for me because I personally hadn't been trading this because I, didn't, I wasn't interested in the sculpts in this region. I was just like, Hey, you know, I'm in a pretty nice long. I'm just gonna just gonna chill in it. But Yunez absolutely crushed it. Like literally, absolutely crushed that each step of the way with the ABC. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, well in advance actually with the drop, the ABC. <laughs> That's insane, mate. That that is insane. So shout out to Yunez. Uh, literally, thank you very much, mate. Uh, and I'm sure everybody in the group also. Well, you know, everybody respects and loves you, man. Like you are a legend. So yeah, shout out to you, Nez. Uh, for the people that are not in the champions group still, I hope this video has been assisting you. Obviously, you know, we're all in longs, but if you're not in longs, you're, you're way too late for the move now. Let's be honest, you, you know, it's pretty crazy to long at $40,000. Uh, all I would say is if you want these setups in advance, then it's obviously given to the champions group. It's, you know, you don't need to join if you don't want to, but, you know, it's kind of like... <laughs> going pretty well at the moment i'll just say that but at the end of the day what i've taught you through in this video for the value is you know 
emphasizing the need of that plan. So it is when we are dropping down here, it's not getting scared. It's thinking this is an opportunity. And then it's taking that opportunity. Obviously, you're gifted in the end a very nice swing failure pattern, holding the overall low. So, you know, no, not really close to any stop losses. Taking a swing failure pattern, seeing the, you know, the three wave ultimately here to the upside. Will we get a five wave? Well, we'll wait and see. Uh, it then comes down to having a plan for both sides of this. So having a plan, should we actually have put in the high this morning and we head down here? You know, you have a basically, it's all, I think it's always important to have a bullish and a bearish plan. So you would have a plan this morning of, okay, we're trading off of this 40k value area high and, you know, a perspective that it's not broken. And then, a, you know, a plan for if we break and hold $40,000 to support the next levels that you're trading up to. And obviously that's pretty simply back up into the range high, okay, which we are, you know, or not in the range, well, the, the ultimate range high, which would obviously be around $42,000. So, you know, that that in my opinion is is so important. It's, it's very, very, very important not to just be one-sided. It's like, I'm not only going to think bullishly and I'm not only going to think bearishly, but I, I will have a plan for both sides of the market. And then I will trade the plan, which comes to fruition the way that the market is going. Um, you know, I think some people lose a lot of money because they're only bullish or they're only bearish. It's like, you know, you can trade this market going up just as you can trade it going down. So you can trade both sides of the market, hence why you need to have plans for both, both ways of the market, in, in my opinion. And you know, take that for what you will, I suppose. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, obviously, I've got to end with the disclaimer here. So let's load this up a second. Obviously, this video is pure education entertainment only no financial advice not telling you what to do with your money at the end of the day that's totally your responsibility only so make sure you pause and read that legal disclaimer um, what I will say is ladies and gentlemen I truly hope that I've helped you with this video in terms of giving you the levels you know these levels and let's be honest were you know, literally given in my group a week ago and, and one week later they're still being respected to the absolute dollar so these levels are important now you have them <clears throat> And uh, then I've talked you through, should we reject the value area high? Obviously, we've got the point of control as support. And should we break the value area high? Then we've got, you know, obviously $40,000 big psychological level. But ultimately, then we can be looking back up to around $42,000, $43,000 being a bigger potential range high. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Really hope you'd have. If you have, you know what to do. Smash the like button. As I would always say, get it to, uh, let's say, 1,500 likes. I'll happily jump on live stream for you. So you can do that decision if you want to see a live, smash the likes. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this one. Shout out to you, Nez, man, the absolute legends. And um, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye. Oh, no, actually, exactly as predicted. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>